Hey, what's going, everyone? This is Tatsuki. I share history and the culture of Japan in this channel. Today, I focus on around Meiji era. Do you know Meiji era? Meiji is the era when Japan was born again from old samurai government to new westernized one. Japanese people were under threat of the great powers of Europe and America in that time, so it was critical for Japan to catch up with them. In that time, many Japanese heroes risked their lives to change Japan, such as Ryoma Sakamoto, Takamori Saigo, uh, Takeyoshi Kido, Shoin Yoshida, Shinsaku Takasugi, etc. Meiji was one of the most significant errors for Japan. Uh, this video will give you the overview of it. I'm gonna feature each person in other videos. I recommend watching my video about the history of Japan in advance. It will be helpful for understanding this topic better. There's a link to it below. Okay, now here goes the main part. Uh, let's get started. First, uh, Meiji era started from 1868 and lasted until uh, 1912. In the period from 1853 to 1877 that I'm gonna talk today, Japan was right in the middle of a revolution because Black Fleet came to Japan. I know, I talked about this event too much in this channel, but this was really significant for Japan. This was the first event that Japan directly knew the threat of the great powers of Europe and America. At that time, Japan's navy was no match for those of them, uh, so they were panicking. Ryoma Sakamoto and Shoin Yoshida saw the fleet with their own eyes. Actually, they didn't know each other, but they were thinking the same thing. Japan is in imminent danger from the great powers, and we have to protect Japan. But the Japanese government didn't register them, and in 1858, Japan was forced to sign an unequal treaty with the USA. Many people were satisfied with the diplomacy. And Japan split it into two sides, conservatives and reformists. Shoin Yoshida taught many people as a teacher in Choshu. He taught also Takasugi Shinsaku who would be one of the leaders of the reformists in Choshu. Takamori Saigo in Satsuma and Takayoshi Kido in Choshu also took a leading place in the reformists. In Satsuma and Choshu there were many reformists and they had battles against Europe. Obviously, there was no way they were able to win. So it seems that the battles are just a waste. But the battles made reformists realize that their power was no match for those of the great powers. And they changed their mind. Like this, in the first place, we have to introduce advanced technique from foreign countries to make us strong. Satsuma and Choshu have the same idea, but they didn't like each other because they had a battle in the past. Cooperation between Satsuma and Choshu was necessary for defeating the government. The person who struggled to make them cooperate was Ryoma Sakamoto. He came up with a great idea. At the time, Satsuma was running out of food, but had a connection for buying advanced weapons from Europe. On the other hand, uh, Choshu didn't have the weapons but had plenty of rice. So Ryoma made a company for trade, Kameyama Shachu. It bought the weapons from Satsuma and passed it to Choshu. In addition, it got the rice from Choshu and gave it to Satsuma. In this way, Ryoma built a village between Satsuma and Choshu. In 1866, the leaders of them, Takamori Saigo and Takeyoshi Kido, officially allied, and they got an army that almost matched that of all the government. But they lacked a reason to defeat it. If they attacked it without a reason, they would be considered rebels. So Saigo got cooperation from Tomomi Iwakura, who served an emperor. He made an effort to get imperial order to defeat the old government. And in 1867, Major Emperor ordered them to do that. Reformists that Satsuma and Choshu led won the battles with the government because they introduced the advanced technique from the great powers quickly. And then the new government started to catch up with the great powers. So many Japanese people like and proud of this era. But there are more reasons why this era has attracted many people for a long time. Most of the heroes I talked about today died without seeing how Japan would change. This is a timeline around the start of a new government. Shoin Yoshida was killed by old government. Ryoma Sakamoto was killed by unknown assailant. He was marked by the old government. Takasugi and Kido died of sickness. 
and Saigo died in a battle between Satsuma and the new government. New government proceeded with removing privilege from samurai for equality of all people. Samurais were opposed to the policy, and in 1877, Satsuma started a rebellion. Saigo was originally against the battle, but he wasn't able to stop them. He realized they weren't able to win the battle,、uh, but he decided to die with them. This story is a history of revolution and the tragedy as well. Their wills have made impressions on many people. Okay, how was that story? I hope you enjoyed it. In this video, I talked only the overview of the era around Meiji, but I'm gonna make the videos focusing on each hero showing Yoshida, Shinsak Takasugi, Takamori Saigo, and Takayoshi Kido. I've already made the video about Ryoma Sakamoto, so watch it when you have time. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. See you next time. Bye.